Alright, so hello. Uh, we're gonna have a look at segments today. And so what a segment really is, is a way to have a look at a specific a portion of users on your in your Google Analytics. So for example in this case I have selected a segment which is called converters. This comes with Google Analytics from the get-go and then you can have a look at all those people who have completed the, uh, a specific goal on your website. This is uh, really interesting because then you can have a look at what the converters or what users who came from a specific source or users who did a specific thing or visited a specific page on your website you can actually have a look at that specific segment look at what they did and uh, try to make sure that more more people will do the same thing if that is a, a good behavior if it's not if it's for example someone who does the wrong thing on your website it makes it really easy for you to analyze uh, how to actually change that behavior so the way that you set up a segment, uh, some come with uh, Google Analytics as all users, bound sessions, converters, direct traffic here. Uh, all of those segments come with Google Analytics. However, you can set up your own and the way you do that is that you go to a new segment over here. And you hit new segment. There are a series of, of uh, uh, different ways in which you can create uh, uh, segments of users. If you, for example, want to analyze a, a user from a specific operating system, you want to know like how many sessions or days since last session. If you want to look at, for example, people who have been on your website uh, every day for the past uh, uh, year or something like that. Um, the one that I use the most is under conditions here, under advanced, because here you can choose any segment and essentially any metric that you want to analyze. So if I want to, for example, look at source medium, I want to have a look at a specific source. I can write Facebook here uh, or I can write Google organic, that one comes with, or I can look at everyone who comes from YouTube to my website. The funny thing is that I can look before I actually have a look in my, my, my different views over here. I can have a look at how many users this is about. So for during a year I had 34 view visitors from, from YouTube to my website. So let's see what they did. We call this YouTube visitors. Actually, I want to put JA here in the beginning because this one will follow me with all the different websites that I'm working on through this account. So I want to put a little short code for what site I'm actually analyzing with this segment. So I save uh, and now let's have a look at what websites. Let's remove this one that we had here before. And we do that by hitting the little downwards arrow. Um, so these are the pages that people from, from, Google, from, from YouTube uh, visited on my website which is a good thing if I want to know what kind of links people have found on uh, YouTube. So that's how you set up a segment. You know, I suggest that you play around with this and that you try to look at a few segments that you're interested in uh, and uh, yeah, ask questions in the comments and I'll try to respond to them uh, as uh, soon as I can, but it's not more difficult than this. But it is one of the most fundamental things that you need to know in order to be able to, to, um, to analyze anything in, in Google uh, or in Google Analytics. Because think about it, if you set a goal, uh, if, if, you, or if you have a strategy or if you have anything and you want to ha look, have a look at that specific thing in your analytics, then you really need to be able to segment that out of all the other data that is in there. Otherwise, you will just be swimming in a big, 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 big lake. All right, uh, that was it. Uh, remember to like and subscribe if you liked the, what was in this video, not to miss any further content or any future content. That's about it for today.